What's up everybody, Jonas Godwin back again with another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about how much I have spent on mods for my car. Somebody left a comment asking me about this so I thought I'd just make a quick video. Since I have work today, I usually like to make videos like this on days that I have work so it's a lot easier to get a video out that's not like an all day thing. So I'm going to go out to the parking garage, it seems like the best place to just talk about stuff and it's kind of an interesting place to go. So we're going to do that and then... That's probably going to be the end of the video, to be honest. I have work in about three hours, so we need to get this video pumped out, and yeah. So let's get going. I already have my coffee. I already did all that stuff. I have my list right here, and I'm ready to go record this, so yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so let's talk about how much I spent on all these mods for my car. I have a little list made up. I'm going to start with the performance mods, because that's probably what you guys care about most. So the first thing I got was the intake, it was $300 K&N short ramp, and I really like this mod. Like, you really can't go wrong with an intake, you know, a little bit better performance, sounds better. That's probably the first thing I would recommend to anybody who wants to do a mod to their car. Second thing was the exhaust, it was about $600 shipped. It was $500 plus $75 shipping, so yeah, I just rounded up a little bit. So $600 for the exhaust, and yeah, I really like the exhaust as well, it's from ZZP.com. They have a lot of parts for the cruises and other cars and stuff like that. Third thing was the strut bars, which was $300 for the front and rear shipped from Malaysia. So, yeah, that was expensive for shipping. It was like 100 bucks. So, the strut bars are good, and I would recommend them, but I don't know if they're really worth the $300. It kind of depends on what you're trying to do to your car. And the last performance mod that I did was my wheels and tires. You guys might have seen my other video where I talked about how much that cost to get everything for all that put on. So yeah, that was $1,500 for the wheels and tires. By far the most expensive thing I've done to my car. So now we're going to move on to the cosmetic stuff. And for the decals, I just put $200 because I have quite a bit of decals and vinyl wrap and stuff like that. That kind of covers everything in that category. So like all the vinyl inside my car, uh, decals outside, that's, that's kind of what covers it. So $200 for all of my decals and vinyl wrap and stuff like that. Second thing was Plasti Dip, and I think I've used probably maybe two cans on this car, so I put $15, give or take a little bit, depending on what Plasti Dip you get. The third thing for cosmetic mods was the taillights. Those are about $300, they're so just BMW style taillights. I got them off Amazon, I think. And you know, they're good quality, and they look nice, so that's why I like them. And the fourth and final thing was my mud flaps, $25 for the Universal Rally Armor mud flaps. And then I didn't calculate in the hardware for it, but the hardware was like three bucks or something like that. That's pretty much everything I've done to my car, all the mods and stuff kind of grouped together. And the total was $3,240 for everything. And you know, half of that was definitely my wheels and tires. So, you know, not too bad. If I didn't have my wheels and tires, it would be $1,500, $1,600 total. So really, honestly, it's not that much after I've had this car for a year. So kind of spending that over a year, just kind of getting everything I want. Definitely won't be spending $3,000 this year on my car because, you know, I've already got most of the bonds that I want done. That's pretty much the way I look at it. You know, I have most of the stuff I want done to it. So this year is probably going to be less than $1,000 if I do anything else to it. So yeah, that's everything I've done. $3,240 is the total. I think I'm just going to end the video here. I hope this was helpful. You guys get to see like how much I've spent on my car and kind of like all the mods I've done to it. I've made a video over that before, but yeah, you can check that out if you want to. But if you guys have any more questions like this that you want me to answer about my car or about any mods or anything, definitely put a comment down below because I will make a video about it and hopefully it'll help you get an answer to your question. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Also comment what you thought and and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also share the video with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.